so let's get started so this is a game that i played against a group of uh, rated 1489 i was rated 1482 um, so as usual um, so uh, i'm playing kole uh, with white pieces here so after uh, d4 uh, we have nf6 on the board um, so i respond with nf3 so i'm trying to make all the standard kole moves uh, so we should expect e3 c3 and then bishop uh, goes to d3 and then um, so we would like to get our knight uh, nb d2 and then uh, finally queen to e2 and then we are ready to castle on the long side so that's uh, my plan uh, if everything goes well so let's see so we have uh, e6 um, so usually uh, people do uh, c4 here inviting a ninzo kind of a uh, game here but uh, we'll stick to our kole so there comes e3 uh, the problem with this e3 move um, as most people say is that it blocks this uh, bishop uh, so the point is um, uh, you know you you are locking your own bishop and why do you do that and even worse as we go ahead i'll put my knight here which even further blocks uh, the bishop so that's usually the complaint against the Kole system but uh, here we'll see that we will beautifully unlock our bishop um, as we go hopefully if you get to play the Kole system uh, in this game i got to play the Kole system so i can show you how i unlock uh, the, the dark square bishop okay so we continue with our development um, so black is uh, playing uh, very passively so far allowing us to go ahead with our plan no major challenges uh, usually when we have uh, these kind of moves uh, um, we have uh, we might get some challenges after some exchanges over here um, it's possible that uh, the car opponent may stop us from uh, getting into the Kole setup but today everything is going as per our plan so i go ahead and castle uh, another passive move from black d6 um, so we continue with our plans um, we take the rook and uh, we are ready okay so now we have knight d6 um, we don't uh, want our knight uh, want any knight activity in our uh, side of the board so usually when this knight develops here uh, it tries to come here uh, to b4 wherein um, it uh, attacks our uh, bishop we you know kole bishop is very dear uh, to us so all of us know that uh, the main uh, trump piece in the kole system is the kole bishop so we don't want to lose that bishop so we usually play um, uh, c3 to guard this square from the knight but in this game uh, knight is sitting in a very different square uh, where it cannot uh, come here and attack our bishop so we are uh, pretty good here but that said i still play uh, c3 the point now is not to guard this square um, because neither the bishop nor the knight is going to come there uh, but uh, this is to support um, uh, the d4 pawn um, i'm going to push my e pawn uh, very soon and I don't want uh, uh, the d4 pawn to be hanging there yeah although I have my knight um, it's good to double defend it or over protect it uh, with uh, another pawn so that's the idea over here we are doing pretty good uh, thanks to black's passive play okay so we have a dream game so to say um, if you can see the computer analysis the numbers are just increasing in favor of white and that's simply because uh, there is no aggressive moves uh, from the black side uh, to attack any of our pieces and black is actually letting me develop uh, to my dreams okay um, now another passive move from black we have h6 um, it, this is uh, it makes sense uh, to some extent uh, it uh, stops my knight from jumping into the 
g phi square but uh, uh, there is some time before I, i'm going to do that so at the moment my um, my plans are to attack the king side here so given that the king has castled uh, i want to attack and uh, look at how i have lined up my pieces so i have my bishops uh, staring at the uh, king side i have my queen also staring at the king side so pretty much this side um, has a strong hold uh, for white um, the the problem pieces are the um, rook and the knight and uh, we'll try to dislodge them one after the other so that's our uh, plan okay how are we going to execute this plan we'll simply uh, uh, push the e pawn forward and uh, and we will force this knight to move from here so let's have some fun now okay so we go ahead and execute our plan so there is e5 on the board of course uh, the knight does not want to move uh, all other pieces being on the wrong side of the board um, the knight wants to stay there okay so so if they have to keep the knight the only move uh, is uh, to take the pawn and that's exactly what uh, Gulpov does um, and uh, just look at the computer evaluation it just keeps on increasing in favor of white as 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 we go and that's because um, I, I i have a way to dislodge the knight uh, very easily so there we go um, so now there is no more tricks uh, and the knight must move um, so where does the knight go um, so knight comes to this awkward square of uh, d5 you may argue that uh, it's a central square and knight is well protected so uh, there are no issues maybe there are no issues with the knight but now look at all my pieces so as i said we are now uh, we have successfully dislodged one protector of the king um, now uh, we have to uh, get into the attack and capture the king how do we do that okay uh, the point behind this maybe there are some better moves here than this uh, but the point is very simple if i have an opportunity i'm going to just uh, take my queen uh, to d3 square and with the queen uh, bishop battery i'm going to really um, scare uh, uh, scare black totally so let's see uh, how this goes black is now desperate to get some counter activity some kind of attack and also it wants to free up its pieces uh, but unfortunately it's on the wrong side of the board and black is too slow uh, to do any such thing on this side so we continue there we unlock our dark square bishop so now both our bishops are ready and uh, kicking okay so um, black uh, continues to develop its pieces um, <coughs> okay so we go with our plan um, as i said uh, we have established our queen bishop battery which is pretty strong here so we are threatening mate in one and uh, black has to do something to stop this mate what options does black have so black could do uh, either f5 uh, or it could do g6 the problem with the f5 move is i'll simply take it n percent and then uh, we have uh, e6 hanging so the natural tendency especially of a junior player is uh, to consider g6 and that's exactly what has happened over here now it's time to dislodge the next uh, protector of the king which is the rook so we go ahead and uh, take the free pawn uh, that is with us so now the rook has to move there is no defense here uh, so the rook moves so see the beauty with which we dislodge the pieces the first we got rid of the knight uh, from here to here and then we moved the uh, rook away from the king as well so with this now the king has been orphaned uh, we only have these two pawns uh, to take care of and once uh, these pawns are gone, uh, we are ready for the feast. Um, so let's see what happens in the game from here. I calmly develop. I have all the time in the world uh, to go and attack the black king. Uh, there's nothing really happening uh, from the black side. The black species are not coordinating very well. 
there is no where this this knight could go um, it comes here i'll take it if it can't go here of course we have the pawn protecting it uh, and it would be ugly if the knight goes back uh, from here um so what what should black do now uh, pretty much black is running out of moves and uh, black tries to uh, attack my queen okay so i simply take my queen back note that my queen is not in danger here because um, the only piece which can threaten is the bishop but um, this square is protected uh, thrice by my pieces i have my bishop knight and queen protecting g5 um, uh, just uh, this bishop would only be protected with one piece which is uh, queen so obviously uh, we are pretty safe here so the knight jumps back to the ugly square one more backward move uh, but the hopes from the black is to exchange uh, the queens probably um, but uh, look at the computer evaluation you know although uh, we haven't done anything drastic asset uh, we are winning already and from this position uh, you know we should be able to convert this to a win with plus five on the board okay so let's continue i am not interested in a queen exchange so i go forward so the uh, the reason why i like this uh, square f4 is because if i somehow get my queen uh, to f6 then there is a mate on uh, queen g7 right uh, so that's the whole idea but of course this is too early to do that uh, we somehow uh, need to either get the bishop out or uh, try to somehow target uh, the f7 pawn so there are whole lot of uh, threats over here um, if you look at it um, so i am i am attacking uh, this pawn and i am also eyeing at this square so both of these are good for me but of course i need to get some more ammunition before i can do this so let's continue okay another attack on my uh, queen but uh, nothing to worry we are sitting very pretty and in fact the position is even better for us but um, okay how do i uh, parry this threat no problems we just move another step uh, to the right but notice this, now I'm x-raying the king. Um, uh, this is very, very, very dangerous uh, for the king. And these kind of x-rays often lead to tactics. Um, so keep an eye on for tactics. Uh, take a, um, So how, how could you use this kind of a pin? Right? So take a minute and think. So here is one idea. My knight can jump over here and the pawn cannot capture it, okay? So all of a sudden, this square, which is h5, has become unprotected and available for white, okay? So this is the kind of uh, thing that you should keep an eye for. Um, so when you are transitioning from a beginner level to an intermediate level, of course, uh, beyond intermediate level, these uh, should be very obvious to you. I don't have to say. So now my knight can come over here and if my knight jumps here, um, it's too dangerous for black because then I start controlling these squares uh, much better. Okay, so let's go to the game and see what happens. King senses the danger uh, of uh, uh, being on the line of queen. So tries to move uh, uh, to a safer square. But is this a good square? course not why it's not a good square because now somebody else is x-raying the king right so king escaped the eyes of my queen but it now fell into the eyes of my bishop right and this is the power of Kohle bishop you know so just place it on this diagonal the b1 um, h7 diagonal and there um, especially when we have dislodged all the protectors of the king it becomes way too powerful now once again i have the h5 square at my disposal once again i can keep jumping here and do all kinds of folks on the king uh, with my knight okay so that's the power of this knight which we moved from uh, uh, oh, sorry uh, not here uh, rather here okay so king uh, goes to h7 which 
only improves our uh, scores. Computers are screaming that it's a win. From here, plus 9.5, it's as though we have won the opponent's uh, queen, right? So that's what the uh, rating says. So let's see how to make progress from here. Okay, what am I doing here? I gave, um, now if you look at this, am I, am I uh, sacking a bishop? So this is a bishop sack, right? Uh, but look at the rating, nothing has happened. My my score is still plus 9.77. Uh, it has not gone down at all. So what should black do over here? Now black is in check. Of course, it has to move. And uh, it has two options, either take my uh, bishop or go back. So what happens if the king takes the bishop? If the king takes the bishop, my knight is protecting me from uh, the queen and the bishop's uh, eyes. So I can simply move my queen and uh, get into a check. And my queen will go in and uh, uh, check the king from h7 square. And that's just disaster for, uh, for black. So let me show these uh, things on the board. Uh, so let's say uh, king takes it. Uh, computer says it's uh, mate in three. Um, I'm not using the engines here. I, don't, I really don't know um, the paths. I'm not looking at uh, the engine evaluation. Maybe there's a better way to win from here. But I would have just played, simply played uh, queen to uh, h4. Yes, uh, now it's a mate in two. Um, there's only one square where the king can go. And uh, we are in here uh, to mate. Uh, uh, the king so so now it's a mate in one of course uh, king has only one square uh, we go in here and this should be a mate okay so so that's the reason that uh, this cannot be this bishop cannot be taken by the king um, so king could move somewhere but uh, my opponent chose to kill my knight instead okay so uh, we have so many so much firepower on the king that we don't mind giving away one knight we go ahead and simply take back uh, the piece and also we are attacking the queen okay so the queen moves and uh, once again uh, we are back to the same ideas uh, queen uh, bishop goes here and then queen comes over here and then queen goes uh, to do the checkmate, right? So that's that's the plan. So let's see if we can execute this. Uh, <laughs> this is a funny move. Um, I could have simply moved here, but uh, I can move here because this square belongs to me, right? H5 belongs to me. Why? Because uh, the king is in a pin uh, with my uh, bishop, right? So, so look at the way tactics flow once you have the setup in place. Okay, so the king moves back. Uh, now I have to waste one move to go inside just because I wanted to enjoy the fun. If I had come here with my queen, maybe I could have simply moved here and I could have saved one piece, but uh, save, save one move, sorry. Uh, but then uh, part of the game, we are still winning comfortably. Um, okay, so now black realizes that uh, he should somehow get back all his pieces to protect the king but i think that's just too late uh, we simply go in and prepare for uh, a mate with our queen um, there's nothing much uh, uh, black can do it's a mate in one unavoidable so my opponent uh, resigned over here i hope uh, you enjoyed this game let me um, revise the game uh, from the beginning it's d4 nf6, nf3, e6, e3, bishop to e7, bishop to d3, short castle, short castle, e6, knight bd2, knight bd7, rook to e1, knight b6. Ah, so now, yeah, so look at uh, the passive play uh, that black has done so far, and that's going to cause the demise pretty soon. c3, bishop to d7 e4 h6 e5 d takes e5 d takes e5 knight f d5 bishop to c2 c5 knight f1 bishop to c6 queen to d3 g6 bishop takes h6 and rook e8 knight to g3 c4 queen to d2 knight c7 queen to f4 
knight cd5, queen to g4, king to h7, knight g5 check, uh, bishop cannot be taken, bishop takes g5, bishop takes g5 back, queen c7, queen h5 check, king to g8, queen goes inside, queen h6, knight e7, bishop f6, and black resigns. Hope you enjoyed this game. I'll keep coming up with more games. Uh, the PGN for this game that I played on chess.com uh, will be available in the description link below um, for your reference in future. With that then, signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.